Steelers team. I don't know whether I should be impressed with the Steelers team or be disgusted. I truly <laughs> don't because they've been outgamed in all of their games. They're bottom 10 in almost every category, both on offense and even parts of it on defense as well. And yet they're six and three. Yeah. I don't make it make sense for me because I don't understand the offense. I see it here. You have George Pickens, who very underrated receiver. Deontay Johnson, great receiver as well. And then their defense, you got the TJ Watts of the world. But at the same time, they sometimes play just horrendously. And then on the other side of the ball, their offense, I've compared them to Guantanamo Bay for good reason. And it just, I don't know, what, like, I should applaud Mike Tomlin. Absolutely. He should be the coach of the year candidate, if not the favorite. But their offense is awful. Their defense at points can play pretty poorly as well. But they're still winning games. They have, I think, a negative 26-point differential. They get blown yeah. out been or out-gained. they win those close yeah. games. They've been outgained in every game. And all the teams that are in that same conversation are like 2-8, and eight, two and 3-7, and seven, whatever it might be. But they just keep winning when yeah. it matters. I just don't get it. Yeah, Kenny Pickett now has eight game-winning drives in for- in the fourth quarter or overtime, which is really interesting because Kenny Pickett's one of those guys who can go really cold, but on prime time, for some reason, he just plays really well. He has a good record on prime time. He shows you flashes of being a good quarterback, and I'm convinced he is the modern-day Joe Flacco, where at times Joe Flacco would just look horrible, and then you'd be like, where is this guy? And then Joe Flacco would suddenly string a gr- drive together at the end of the game and then win it for you when you have a Ray Lewis you have a Terrell Suggs with Highsmith and um, TJ Watt. Not saying they're as good as Ray Lewis and Terrell Suggs, but they're comparable at least as a pass rush. They're definitely not as cerebral as those guys. And then you have someone like Joey Porter Jr. And their defense finds a way to step up and make that big play when they need to to keep the team in the game. DJ TJ Watt just being a disruptor, whether it's picking off Lamar Jackson in a game or batting a pass away getting a strip sack to give them the ball back and then suddenly the offense will kick it together when they need it and it looked like they were finally going to blow a team out it looked like they were finally going to dominate the Packers and then their offense just grinds to a halt for some reason it's like with the Steelers it's like TJ um Jalen Warren you're playing really well that's great now we're going to give it to Najee Harris and do one yard run one yard run oh George Pickens every literally every single time you touch the ball we're going to make you so miserable that you're going to post on Instagram get me the hell out of here because every time I've touched the ball I will go for four receptions for a hundred yards which is simply ridiculous and he's done it multiple times this year and then Kenny Pickett throws him the bomb to win the game versus the Baltimore Ravens then as soon as Deontay Johnson comes comes back he's their number one receiver now where Deontay Johnson is a good receiver um it seems like he's a better route runner than Kenny P- than uh, George Pickens is at this point but George Pickens is just more explosive more dominant and the fact they can't find a way to get him involved in the offense is just confusing and they have all of the talent there so I don't know if it's just Kenny Pickett himself whether it's Matt Canada but there's something to the Mike Tomlin formula where he's never had a losing season his entire career. And then they're six and three now being outgained in every single game. I don't know if I'm supposed to give Mike Tomlin credit for that. I don't know if I'm supposed to give him some blame for this offense, not being as dynamic as it should be, but Mike Tomlin defenses can be dominant. Then suddenly in playoff games, they get absolutely dominated by the new England Patriots or they'll get dominated by a more sophisticated head coach. Who's a better strategist than Mike Tomlin, even though he's an amazing motivator and he has good schemes on defense, but sometimes it's just like even their defense. Sometimes this year you get absolutely annihilated in Houston and you get blown out and then you can move the ball on them. But then TJ Watt Highsmith will just find a way to make a play and get it done. So this team, will they make the playoffs? Probably would I be surprised if they don't make it? Not really, but it's just a bizarre team where you're just like, I don't even understand how you're six and three. I think this team is the epitome of this NFL season because you have a team like the Bengals, who's five and four, a team like the Bills, which are five and five. And then you have like teams like the Texans, who you don't expect to be good, but they are. You have teams like the Colts for a while that were playing really good football. It's it's a very confusing year for the NFL and the Steelers are the most confusing team of all because realistically with all the numbers and all the stats there they should have a losing record 
but they don't. And, you know, credit to them. But I honestly, if I had to pick, like, I would prefer them not to make the playoffs. Um, but they probably they probably will. Ideally, maybe all four of the AFC North teams make the playoffs at this yeah. point. I, I would think the Steelers could beat someone like Miami in the playoffs, too. Yeah, I think they could. I don't think they can definitely win a playoff game. Yeah. Um, But I want to see a team like the Texans make it. I think that they should be kind of pushing for that playoff spot. But realistically, all four of these teams can make it, which is kind yeah. of a, kind of amazing in the, at the end of the day. 